Welcome to this screencast video demonstrating how to use COMSOL to model inductive heating of a plate. This is practice problem number two in session number six of Altisim Technologies training course solving COMSOL multiphysics problems. For this video, we will focus particularly on the solver setup of this model. Here's a schematic of the problem. The coil is modeled as a circular because there is only a one-way coupling between these sets of equations and not a bi-directional coupling, the solver setup can be broken up into two separate steps. This is a common technique that can be used for any one-way coupled problem. Right-click to remove it from the selection list. So now we're only solving heat transfer in the solid steel domain. And if you go back up and click on materials, you can see that the red X has gone away and COMSOL no longer expects us to give those material properties for the air domain. Okay, let's set up the loading and boundary conditions. Now at this point, we'll want to check how the, the heating was solved for. So right click on results, select 3D plot group. Right click on the newly created 3D plot group, select surface. And in the expression edit field, go ahead and type capital T for temperature and change the units to degrees C. Click plot. And you can see a surface plot of the temperature at time five in the steel. So we've increased the temperature in the steel up from the T naught value of 20 degrees Celsius all the way up to over 166 degrees Celsius in the center of the, the steel plate. One other thing we could do to track the progress of the temperature rise with time would be to create a 1D plot group. So right click on results, select 1D plot group, right click on 1D plot group 5, select point graph, and then in the selection list, go ahead and add one of the, the corners of the steel plate to the selection list change the expression to temperature, units to degree C, and then click plot. And here we have a plot of the temperature at the corner of the plate rising from 20 degrees at time equals zero, all the way up to just over 130 degrees C at time equals five. This concludes this example problem. Thank you.